Good morning, children. I am Priyanka Kumari, and I am a English teacher. So, children, are you enjoying your lockdown classes? You are taking classes online without going to school, sitting at your home. Mm, I hope you are enjoying. Okay, let's move to new chapter. It's of English grammar, chapter five, kinds of sentences. Children, I have already explained you what is a sentence, right? But let us revise it once again. See here, it's written. A sentence is the combination of words between two full stops that conveys full meaning. Or you can say, a sentence is a group of words, fine, which gives sense, sensible meaning. For example, cow is grazing in the field. John plays football every day. The book is on the shelf. See here, we have given full stop in all the three sentences. But yes, you can give question mark also, exclamation mark also, right? See once again, what are sentences? A sentence is a group of words that gives a complete thought. Sentences begin with a capital letter. Yes, it's very important. Whenever you are starting a sentence, the first letter should be always in capital letter. Sentences end with a punctuation mark. Punctuation mark like full stop, question mark, exclamation mark. Children, there are four kinds of sentences. Declarative. It, it is also known as assertive sentence. Next is interrogative sentence, exclamatory sentence and imperative sentence. Let's see all these sentences one by one. First one is assertive sentences. Children, it is also known as declarative sentence. The sentences which state or declare something, they are called assertive sentences and they end with a full stop. See here, assertive sentences can be affirmative means positive and negative. So children, positive and negative sentences both can be called as assertive sentence or declarative sentence. See example, it's warm today. Change into negative, it's not warm today. See what's written in note. Sentences that contain not or no are called negative sentence. Let's see second kind of sentence. Imperative sentence. An imperative sentence is a sentence that tells someone to do something like giving order. Gives advice or instruction like you can suggest someone or that expresses a request or command when you request something to someone. An imperative sentence usually have no obvious subject. Children, what is subject here? We have learned subject and predicate in class 4. Remember, you is also a subject. You is mostly used in imperative sentence. Like see here examples. First example is go to work. So we can also write here you go to work. But it's understood. Okay, so we have not written you here. So you is hidden here. But you is a subject. Don't do that. Can we say you don't do that? But it is understood. So we have omitted you. Third one is don't walk on the grass. And fourth one is you should study hard. Next. Hmm, the simplest one. Interrogative sentences. Children, what is interrogative sentence? Question. An interrogative sentence asks a question. It ends with a question mark. Very simple, no? Like, may I borrow your newspaper? Did you turn the light off? What is your favorite song? Do you ride the bus? Have you ever visited New York City? So it is very simple. Whenever you see these question mark, it means it is interrogative sentence. What is the last one? Last one is exclamatory sentence. What is the def definition? Exclamatory sentence is a sentence that expresses a strong emotion and ends with an exclamation mark. See children, this is an exclamation mark. Let's see the example. Wow, beautiful pictures are here children. See, oh, he is looking like a thief, right? He is saying, I am free. Maybe he, he ran from the prison. So he is so happy. He is expressing his joy. He can also say, hurry, I am free. See, I treasure you. She is so happy now. She is expressing love. Why is she so surprised? Okay, see, she actually won. Someone, uh, maybe her friend has won in the game. And see, see, 
she is so much surprised at how can her friend won okay so she is expressing her surprise what is the last one oh my god she is looking so angry why you are late again okay maybe she is a teacher and her student is late again so she is expressing her anger okay children your facial expression is very important suppose when you are happy okay your facial expression is different when you are when you are angry when you are sad and when you cry okay your facial expressions are different let's see four kinds of sentences once again let's revise statement or assertive or declarative sentence okay a statement sentence tells about something we have already discussed that it ends with a full stop let's see examples i had a good time we ate pizza for lunch they went to the store second one is question means interrogative sentence a question sentence asks something it ends with a question mark examples what is the rabbit eating when do we eat lunch how are you now command command request or suggestion these are known as imperative sentence so a command sentence tells someone to do something it ends with full stop see the examples please feed the dog eat all your vegetables do your chores after lunch and the last one is exclamation an exclamation sentence shows strong feelings emotions okay it ends with an exclamation mark see the examples the dog ate my homework he fell off the chair i just won 100 dollars okay children so these are four kinds of sentences assertive sentence and imperative sentence they ends with a full stop and interrogative sentence end with a question mark and exclamatory sentence ends with an exclamation mark let's see once again four types of sentences declarative sentence tell something it ends with a period interrogative sentence ask a question ends with a question mark exclamatory sentence shows strong feeling ends with an exclamation mark and the last one is imperative sentence it gives a command ends with a period or an exclamation mark okay children uh, this page is from your grammar book chapter 5 kinds of sentences let's read it students you know that a sentence is a set of words that conveys complete sense a sentence may convey a statement affirmative or negative a question a command request advice or suggestion a strong feeling read these sentences number 1 i bought a pretty pretty dress number 2 what's the cost of this dress Question three. Look at this dress. And four. How expensive the dress is. The first sentence simply states something, so it is an assertive sentence or a statement. The second sentence asks a question, so it is an interrogative sentence or a question. The third sentence expresses a command, so it is an imperative sentence. The last sentence expresses a strong feeling, so it is an exclamatory sentence. Children, let us read more examples. Assertive sentence is also known as declarative sentence. It is also known as statements. Number one, grammar skills are important to be an effective speaker. Practice makes a man perfect. We should not get distracted by studying. Fourth, a rainbow has seven colors. Five. i am feeling tired six i revise my lessons regularly now come to the next one interrogative sentence is there a smart board in your classroom when will you buy a new bicycle can you swim how many colors does a rainbow have what is your hobby have you ever been to france now imperative sentence children obey your elders give me some time for completing the file go to nearby places on foot look at the rainbow take exercise daily don't be lazy now exclamatory sentence how nice of you well done what a great invention it is how beautiful the rainbow is how tired i am 
Wow, this book is awesome. See children, beautiful pictures are given in your book. Now, question number one, identify the kinds of sentence. Children, I will discuss only one question. Fine, rest you will do on your own. Question number one, is Mr. Sarma your neighbor? See, what is given here? Question mark. Okay, your question is also, it is interrogative sentence. See, there are 15 questions. One I have done. So, 14 you will do by your, on your own. Now, question number two. Make four kinds of sentences using these words. The first has been done for you. First word is honest. So, with honest word children, you have to frame four different kinds of sentences. Let's see. Assertive sentence. Rajan was an honest person. Interrogative. Is he an honest person? Imperative. Always be honest exclamatory what an honest leader he was so children can you see in all the sentence sentences honest word is being used so in the same way you have to frame different kinds of sentences with these words which words beautiful wisdom and look okay one more question is here match the situation with the exclamation see children in every word exclamation mark is given so let us do one your sister won a medal children suppose your sister will win a medal and come to home what will you say well done fine so rest for you will do on your own so children i hope you have enjoyed the class fine thank you